Mahatma Gandhi said, There is no school equal to a decent home and no teacher equal to a virtuous parent. The first teachers in our lives are our parents. We learn essential parts of education from them, such as counting and reading. Then, they send us to daycare centers or nurseries at the age of 3, 4, or 5 to expand this knowledge. After that, we will enroll in elementary schools and high school thought by professionals. Many parents believe that instructors with a proper teaching background can teach their children more effectively. Despite this, there are still parents that choose to teach their th children at home because of different reasons. Homeschooling is a form of education with one or both parents as the educator. They choose to educate their kids at home instead of enrolling them in a conventional school. This method focuses on the strengths, skills, and interests of the child at their own pace. In the study of Ray, there are approximately 4 to 5 million students homeschooled in the, from kindergarten to grade 12 in the United States. It grows at an estimated 2% to 8% per annum over the past years, but it dramatically rises from school years 20 to 2019 to 2020 to school year 2020 to 2021. In the Philippines, almost 12,000 families homeschool their children. According to the 2016 National Household Education Survey, or NHES, in the United States, 34% of parents say that the school environment is the main reason they choose to homeschool. Example of this is the safety, drugs, negative peer pressure, and concerns about bullying. Adding to this, dissatisfaction with academic instruction and wanting to teach their children morals and rel religious beliefs are the other reasons. Personal experiences of families, mostly mothers, and different researchers prove the benefits of homeschooling. In a study by Ray in 2015, homeschooled children scored 15 to 30 percentile points above their public school student counterparts counterparts on a standardized academic achievement test. Additionally, stats show homeschoolers score 85% to 85% while their peers in public schools stand at 50%. In the homeschool setup, parents can give their children more attention, the difference from a traditional classroom, and study at their own pace. Usually, if you don't get a lesson in school, the class will not adjust for you. Since parents are the most responsible for the child's learning, they can adapt teaching methods to fit their children. Besides, they can develop different talents during various activities performed in their homes. Adding to this, it provides longer time spent together with their family and creates a stronger bond within the members. Through this, parents and children can have open communication with each other and have a firmer relationship with them. They can share their interests, passion, and values they want to impart to their children. Likewise, children with special needs will considerably benefit from homeschooling. When a subject is difficult, parents and children can learn it together through watching videos and lectures together. With the adv advancement of technology, different search engines and learning platforms are made for homeschooling to be easier for parents and their children. Access to the internet makes it easier for students to acquire knowledge and access information for their researches and assignments from the diverse educational and social media platforms online. While the pandemic is still on the rise right now, Students experience what education at home is. Several parents thought that they are homeschooling their children, but they're not. There are differences between online learning and or distance learning and homeschooling. Currently, students are under online learning where the school still mandates the students' educational requirements. We can say that there are similarities between the two of them, yet they are still distinct. As a student that underwent the distance learning set up this school year, it is overwhelming for me. I felt the importance of my mental health and having breaks from the toxicity of social media. There are, there are peaks and troughs that I experienced during this pandemic and online learning. Throughout this period, anxieties and loss of social interaction affected me a lot. 
At the same time, I realized I become more independent as the first semester of senior high school already passed. Surprisingly, I realized that homeschooling or online learning is not bad at all. Nevertheless, there are many things to consider when homeschooling. You need to know if that will be your best option at all. A parent should know what's best for the children and also consider the state of the family. Is there one of the parents free to teach their, ch their child full-time or are they patient enough to understand and be able to teach a child effectively? For the child to learn, parents need long-time planning and understanding of what is best for them. Plus, the stigma that only privileged families can try homeschooling and countless explanations on why you chose to homeschool. Homeschooling is a very stressful and satisfying at the same time. No matter what we choose, there are always pros and cons. This method can work for others but not for your family. Every child is unique in their way as well as how they learn. Furthermore, this is not suitable for parents who cannot commit time and effort to become effective teachers for their children. Because of this, my respect for all the teachers and parents who work very hard to ensure the youth's quality education skyrocketed. Regardless of the threats and difficulties in this time, students, teachers, and parents are able to adjust and adapt to these circumstances. At first, I believe that face-to-face -face classes are much better than online ones. However, if you want to learn, you can stop yourself from learning, no matter how, when, and where it occurs. As Elizabeth Ross said, when the atmosphere when the atmosphere encourages learning, the learning is inevitable. Thank you very much.